What's up guys? So just got a few things I want to talk about today. This is going to be a talking video, so you're not really going to be looking at much. Um, and if you don't really care about Revival, you just watch the videos because you think they're entertaining. This one's probably not going to be too entertaining for you, so by all means I understand. But uh, if you do want to talk about Revival and you do want more information, blah blah blah, etc, 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 then stay tuned. So someone in game asked um, when I was going to show the survey results. I actually had no plans to show the survey. I didn't really, like I had no plans of showing it, but it makes sense too. People want to know, so I'll, I'll uh, we'll do it. Uh, let me load it up right here. So the first question was, which update are you most excited for? So we had 100 people who answered, appreciate that. So everyone who answered. Uh, God of War 2 won. Uh, as you can see, we had 8 for PvP improvements. So whenever you, you know, go in game and you're like, oh, what is, why is it PvP fixed or why are we having any changes? It's just because the community doesn't really want it. I'm not saying I'm not going to fix it. I'm just saying it's based off of priority. And I know that this is really just like most excited. This isn't like a what should we prioritize. I'll do one of those soon you know, and if PvP is really one of the things that the community wants, by all means, what for that? What are the others? Let's look. Uh, do note that there's probably some trolls in here. Let me, let me verify. Uh, when you fill out a survey, it's not anonymous. I don't know why people thought it was... I mean, you don't put your name, so I guess it's it's reasonable to think it's anonymous, but I did have to ban a person because they uh, they uh, they said some things. I'll just avoid giving specifics. That's probably the best way to go about this. So any of the ones that require specifics. Now, obviously, some of them do, because this one right here is how do you feel about the current state of revival. Um, I'll just give you sort of a summary. It's. I mean, most people thought it was good. Most people thought it was bad. They, there's, like, individual, like, reasons and whatnot um you know some people just left it simple some good some people have had a full paragraph um it seems like one of the things that people really want is to to gamble i don't know really when that happened because i don't remember gambling being such a big deal back in the day it's really only one of those things that uh has just i, I don't know i guess just i guess gambling is just a real big part of the community you know how i feel about it i'm not really gonna get into that but it seems like that's the thing that people want the most. Also, one big thing is the eco. Um, I really, really hate people when it comes to the eco. Because a lot of people, I don't know, they're just so used to talking about it on this server and other servers. I'm sure it's an issue that every server faces. Shut the fuck up. That's my reply. It's not like it's not a thing that like, people need to be so worried about. People are worried so much about it. And they're like, oh, if one person has... Um, I, I mean, the thing that always confused me is how if one person was super rich, that that affected everyone else. And they would say things like, oh, and I understand, like, oh, that person owns all the T-Bows, they can control the T-Bow price, theoretically. Sure, I understand that bit. It's just like, it it doesn't really affect you. It doesn't affect you in any way. Why don't, see, there's people are so much, like, if he goes away, that doesn't affect you. That doesn't, like, raise prices or anything. Because if the person wasn't going to sell anything or buy anything in the first place, it makes no difference. The eco is not a thing. It doesn't exist. It's it's always continuously evolving and changing, going up and down with every new update or every subtraction, every new player who gains an item. It's not something that's ever is. There's never going to be a there's zero percent chance of it ever being a good eco. It's either going to be it's it's always moving. It's always fluctuating. So it might be really bad one day and it might be amazing the next day. It goes back to bad. That's just how it is. That's how that's how gameplay is. Now, for people who think that we're not concerned, we're not aware of it. We're, don't don't think that. That's dumb. Obviously, we're aware of the eco. Eco is a big part of private servers. Um, I I feel like I've 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 owned and played enough to where I've had, I got a good grasp of it. So even if it feels like things are struggling at one point, just know that we're not just ignoring things. Um, I I feel like one of the bigger things we could probably introduce is. A, um, some sort of trading system. It's one of those things where adding like a trading system, like a GE post or a trading post or a GE, is incredibly difficult to do without bugs. And any bug related to any of that is very severe. Like the chances of adding a dupe is just like it's just so. I mean, like there's going to be a dupe if we. And I guarantee you, whatever we code or whatever, there's probably going to be a dupe. And hopefully, we can find it early. <laughs> and worst case scenario, we don't. You know what I mean? Like so, it's one of those things where. It's something we can't really offer right now, but we know that it's it's needed. So I think what the solution is, is to just find another way of doing things. Maybe it's if it's uh, just put like a post in Discord or something like that, or um, 
you know, I don't know. If anyone has constructive ideas, by all means. Like, that's the thing that, that kind of annoys me a lot about owning a server, is people will always have an opinion, but not have no, not a single idea on how to do any improvements. They'll complain about things, and then you're like, okay, well, how, what do, how do you feel about that? What should we do? And then they're like, oh, I don't know. I don't have any ideas. All I know is is what I is, is that it's bad. That's all I know. I have no clue on how to make it good. I just know it's bad because other people told me it's bad. But by all means, if you have legit suggestions, we'll we'll happily take them. But I'm not worried about it even in the slightest. The the server has no. It's it's not dying. It's not going down anytime soon. We're doing well. I mean, it's uh, what is it? 1 p.m. right now. We have uh, 71. That's solid. That is solid numbers. Everything's fine. The server is gonna grow. And I'm sh like I said, we'll have we'll have a good eco soon. We'll have a bad eco soon. They're both gonna happen. That's just part of the business. Uh, so, which of these updates is most important to you? This was just sort of to grasp what people care about. Uh, frequent updates and fun gameplay are probably the main two. Um, YouTube videos, not so much. Community, uh, not so much. I'm surprised community is so low. Player count, player count was surprisingly the lowest. I guess it's just because I, I I don't think I let people. Did I let people use multiple? I guess not, right? If it's only saying 100. Hmm. I should have probably given people multiple votes on this so they could have put which which was most important. How do you spend your time revival? This was literally just to try to get a gasp on like what people are doing. Um, a little bit of everything. That that sounds about right. Bossing up there. AFK and 2%. I didn't even put PK. I guess probably because PvP is disabled right now. Strolling for babes. I, whenever you put a troll question like this, you're always going to give people that answer. it. So I probably shouldn't do it. I just couldn't resist <laughs> Uh, so the next one, the next couple questions are really about the difficulty of revival. This is the one that's most infuriating, because literally half the people say that the server's too easy, and then half the people complain that it's too hard. And then if you do an update, like one of the things that's really started a lot of drama recently was the nerfs we've done. Uh, we nerfed Rock Boss, and then we nerfed uh, Void. Um, people can constantly complain about how the eco is bad and how the game is too hard or too easy. And then we make nerfs, and they're like, no, 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 we want that overpowered stuff right back. So then we, I, like, I don't under, there's no way, there's really just no way to win from an owner's standpoint. Because, like I said, half the people want it and think it's too easy, half the people think it's too hard. In my opinion, that's probably a good sign. That probably means we're, like, we're doing well if half the people think it's hard, half the people think it's easy. And, um, and, and, like, how do you, I mean, how do you balance things like that? It's difficult, but... Uh, the best way to do it is just do what you think is best for the game, and that's what I do. So I understand that nerfing your the overpowered money making method sucks. I know that you loved. I mean, like I'm, you're probably one of the people that said that the server was 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 easy, and you like the easy overpowered boss. But for the long term, you know, the game, and and really, I only changed two things. I made it so that the boss was less AFK, and then I changed the fossil drop from co un, was it common or uncommon. I think it was common to very rare. And that change just, like, blew everyone's, like, that just exploded their brains. Um, so in here, this is basically what what is the hardest boss. It's mostly Vasa. Uh, some people just say none. Uh, you got random ones, like, um, like Tekton. I mean, I get that. I, I don't like Tekton. People know I don't like Tekton. Uh, Vorkath is one up there, but uh, that, that one's pretty simple. So this one kind of fucked up. It was supposed to be on a scale of 1 to 10, right? And I had it 110. But for some reason, it doesn't let me do 10. Like, I couldn't edit it, so I had to make it 100. And then it really, like, <laughs> shit just got weird. But the average difficulty on a scale of 1 to 100 is technically 41. Which I'd say, I mean, that's, yeah, that's some people, that's probably a lot of people voting that it's too easy and a lot of people voting that it's too hard. Uh, which are you more likely to use? Forums, Discord, um... I, it really sort of it stemmed from a problem we have. We need a community manager. That's that's honestly just the short and skinny of it. We need a community manager. We need someone who can constantly talk about, um, constantly keep you guys updated. Because I'm, you know, I, I don't want to always want to be doing that. I'm, uh, I've got so many other things to be doing. We need someone dedicated to where that's their job. Is just is getting information to you and getting the information information from you to me and to Dark, you know, the developers and whatnot. Um, and I don't know. We're we're looking. We're looking. So, I'm sure we'll have something soon, but that's probably really where this stems from. I was a little surprised how many people voted for the Discord over the uh, forums, I guess. I don't know. Discord's one of those things where I just, I don't personally use it, so that's why I haven't given into it or I don't, you know, it's hard for me to use it because I don't use it. But, again, a community manager's job would be to use it, so 
uh, yeah, just really just trying to figure out where, where, where the best place to put our our resources in that regard is. Um, how do you feel about Arcor Admin Mode? So this is the one that um, was interesting because uh, I, I suppose whenever I'm doing questions like this, I should probably not include my opinion. I feel like if I ever include my opinion, it sort of influences it that way. Um, because in-game, most people are like pro-hardcore Iron Man. Like, let's just do a straw poll right now in-game. If you like hardcore, say one. If not, say two. Let's, I'm sure I'm going to get like a lot of threes. First person to get three is getting caked. First person to say three gets caked. Ah, oh, come on, somebody say three. I really thought someone was going to say three. There's a zero. That's Pawn, though. Uh, pe people who don't know Vala, pa Vala's Pawn. He's a good, really good friend of ours. He, you know, he's technically staff. His his uh, other account has admin. Okay, we didn't get a single three, so nobody gets kicked. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of ones, right? Most people are interested in the idea. But if you look here, it's no, 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 thank you, don't, no, no. And I think the biggest reason for that is I gave my reasons um, that there's bugs and disconnects. Uh, so I'll talk about that a little bit more, and uh, we can talk about it even more in the chat. By all means, please reply with your thoughts and opinions. Uh, Hardcore Iron Man is going to be one of those things where it's definitely going to be tricky, because there's going to be DCs and bugs and glitches, and that's going to lose your Hardcore Iron Man status. It's just one of those things. So the reason I talked about it in this poll was, we should, should we wait until we have more stable gameplay? But... As was brought to my attention, there, you know, I, I already knew that there was never going to be bugs and glitches. I've said that, you know, I said that in this post. I've said that from day one. We're always going to have bugs and glitches, DCs. That's always just going to happen. That's part of a private server life. Um, so there's really no point to not do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's always going to be an issue. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things where I, I, it, it, I don't think it would be that difficult to do. I don't, I mean, at least I don't think so. It's just one of those, it's if people want it. And from, from the survey, it seemed like more people were against it than they were. But in-game, everyone was like, oh, I'm just waiting for Hardcore Iron Man mode. That was the weird part. Was, like, after the poll came out, everyone in-game was really hyped. They're like, oh, I'm just waiting for Hardcore Iron Man. When is Hardcore Iron Man coming out? And it, 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 no one voted. No one wanted it. So it's... I mean, obviously, people wanted it. It wasn't 100% no. I'm just saying it was mostly no. So, I don't know. Well, maybe it's... Maybe it needs to pull again, be pulled again, just straight up. Do you want this? Yes or no? Um, and again, it's an optional game mode, so... Eh, you know? Uh, so this is just one quality of life thing. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's... There's a million different, like, random... Random... I mean, there's people saying it's easy, people saying it's hard. Uh, just ran, give inboxes, give donated points. I really like the idea of Mr. Boxes giving donated points. It just turned out to be too broken in too many regards. I suppose limiting the way you got mystery boxes, but then again, that was kind of against the logic of mystery boxes in the first place. Mystery boxes were coded so that you could get them a lot, and every once in a while would just, you would just get free mystery boxes, and it wouldn't ruin the damn game because they're not that great. You know what I mean? Look what I did. Actually, I just got super freaking lucky. Nice. Battle's chest fight, nice. That's a really rare chance, I'm pretty sure. That's like one in, I'm pretty sure that's the same chance as getting like a rapier and shit. So, uh, yeah. But, um... Uh, is there any last man standing? I, I like the idea of it. But the problem is... Is it even gonna be, like, worth it? Because I know that old school's last man standing doesn't even get players. No one even plays it. I don't think there's enough people to play. Teleport lags. I don't know of any teleport lag. You'd have to be more specific. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna scroll through this and see what, you know, what can be done and, and what can't be done. I was more so looking for little things. One little thing, and then people just kind of, like, spewed a bunch, like, gave a bunch of things. Or, like, or they were just giving, like, suggestions, like, the last man said, and that's not a little thing. I meant, like, if there was little things that could easily be done, we could work on for, um, you know, whatever. But, um, what's your favorite movie? Um, <laughs> sex. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, that that's pretty much what happens when you, uh, when you, <laughs> when you put a question like this in. Let me, uh, let's find this person's IP. I was going to find this person out in game. Okay, I'm back from looking up who it was. It was Iron FJ. So everybody, if you see Iron FJ, let him know that that his sex is, is he, that he has sex. And congratulate him on his sex. Or is that a movie title? 
And I just don't know because I'm retarded. So with that, let me uh, talk about the Stropple now. So uh, basically, the question is, should we have uh, make an event? Uh, should we make an event pet box? This would include a random pet from past events. If so, how should we earn? Uh, so there are a couple pets. Um, should I? I don't know if I want to. Let me. Yeah, I can't show that tab because that's. Uh, I don't want to spoil my next uh, Petscape video, because obviously I, I probably have new pets. I hope I have new pets. I'm so dry lately. It's, it's insane. Um, there's multiple pets that are, have been through events. We've had many events, and we'll have many more. And most events, I believe all of them, right? I'm not sure if I missed any. Most events have had pets. And, um, I mean, let's see. Like, the first player appreciation of pet, we have the Shaka Khan. Um, there's the Banshee pet from one of the Halloweens. There's the Bunny pet from Easter. There's... Um, the mummy from the second player appreciation event. There's the the swarm from the second player appreciation event. I think we had two pets. The penguin from the Christmas one. The eagle from the two day Fourth of July event. There's quite a few, and uh, if you weren't on for those those events, you can't get the pet. So uh, for most people who are going for all pets, like myself included, I don't include those pets. But a lot of people really want some of the older pets. Uh, for example, the eagle pet was only in two, in game two days. And it's never going to be added again unless, of course, this box comes out. Because if we... I mean, I, I don't know. We can, we, can, we, can, we can look at it multiple ways, but... Personally, I don't want to give you my opinion. Because, again, I feel like if I give you my opinion, it's going to persuade the votes that direction. Uh, so, just whatever you think on the subject, vote for it. There's obvious benefits to both. I'll give you that. Just because that's not an opinion, those are. If the, the benefit being you can get all the pets now; they are all obtainable. So if there's one from an event that you really, really like, for example, one of my favorite pets is the Banshee pet, which is one I own. So this this box wouldn't help me, but uh, the Banshee pet—it's a really cool pet. It's one of my favorites, and the only way to get it was the Halloween event. Uh, if you're one of those people that really likes that pet, you can get it. One of the downsides could be all of those pets are no longer rare. Uh, for example, the first player appreciation event. I think there's there's very there's a very limited amount in game. It's one I don't even own. I did the event, obviously. I played during the time the event's coming out. You know what I mean? Like I played during almost every event, but there's certain pets I just don't have, and that's one of them. And that so that's one of the more rare pets. So it's, it was cool. I actually saw somebody with it the other day at home, and it it reminded me of it. So that's one downside to the no option, is it kind of devalues all the pets. Um, if we make it rare, it sort of keeps the value up a little higher. Like obviously we could even do it based on. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't really want to do it based on how frequent or how like long ago the event was. Like, if the event was longer ago, then the rarity is higher. I mean, we can we can discuss all options, but just give me your this is just a straw poll. We're not gonna do a survey or anything. Just give me your quick thoughts on the subject. I should have a pet skip video out tomorrow, and then I should have some sort of God Wars two teaser out later this week. Um, if you notice, the last update wasn't that great. It's pretty small. Uh, we're really picking up development on God Wars 2, and you can expect that soon. I don't have an ETA. I'm not going to give you an ETA. I'm just I'm going to make sure everything is 100% perfect. And if it's not 100% perfect, you're not getting it. So, yeah. Well, it'll happen when it happens. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.